I want power. If it wasn't for you, things that you do, I would be over. If it wasn't for you, things that you do, I would What's up, machine freaks? I hope you guys are enjoying your day, enjoying this weather. I mean, at least in New York State, it's beautiful out. It's really sunny, but it's really cool, which is amazing. Today we are working on the GS1000, of course, because we have four carburetors and only two of them are accomplished. Yes, two carbs. I just wrapped up the rest of the second carburetor off camera. Here are carburetors number three and four. Like I said, we can only do one at a time because our bucket is only so big. My bucket is literally this size right here. So by the time you take the whole carburetor apart, you can't fit two of them. You can only fit one. It kind of sucks, but hey, you got to work with what you have. Thank you, Jason C., for the gloves. This wasn't even screwed in. Carburetor 3 is completely torn down. Now let's let it start soaking. There we go, now I can breathe. <sighs> start the clock. I'm happy to say when it comes to carburetors, we're 75% done. Well, we have 75% of them clean. However, we're probably only about 60% done when it comes to getting everything all set when it comes to the whole fuel system. And what I mean by that is just because it soaks, I still have to clean it, re-clean it, ultrasound it, clean it, put it back together, and then sink them with a carburetor sinker. I've never used a carburetor sinker, but I do know how they work. Now, on a four-cylinder engine, you have four carburetors. Well, in this case, we have four carburetors. Nowadays, it's fuel-injected, it's all computerized, and you don't have to really do this anymore. But for the carbureted stuff, each carburetor has to be adjusted to give the correct amount of fuel. Because if cylinder one is giving out more fuel than cylinder four, then chances are cylinder one's producing more power, and cylinder four is just, you know, kind of being lazy, I guess so you're not gonna get the full power out of the engine. That's not good. I want full power. I got a gator. I want power. So I want this thing running like a top. Now, I do not own a carburetor sinker, but luckily, I do have connections. And I know somebody who does have a carburetor sinker, and his name is Jason. You know the one that gave me the fire truck tour? This is awesome! That Jason. So he's gonna come out, not tomorrow, but I believe the next day, and he's gonna help me sink these things. By then I'll have all my carburetors done, which is really exciting because as you guys know, that's basically what we're waiting on. Once the carburetors are done, this engine should run. After the engine runs, then we can start slapping it in the gator. I know, very, very exciting stuff. While the carburetor does its thing, I want to ask you guys a couple questions and I want you guys to give me your honest feedback, okay? Now, I'm thinking about the exhaust system right now because I think exhaust systems are awesome. And, and I have a super cool idea in mind, at least a function I want the exhaust pipe to do. Saying that, I need your guys' opinion. The pole will be up here. My first option is a straight pipe out the back. Second option is like overhead duals. Third option is under duels like, that like come straight out and obviously everything will be straight piped and then here's the cool feature should i make the exhaust be able to shoot flames or should i not add that feature and if your idea isn't in the poll leave it in the comment section below i would appreciate it you 
machine freaks know me. I do not like noise. This thing produces a lot of noise. So I figured I'd hook up my phone to these things because these things protect your ears and then this thing allows you to jam out. Now I don't usually do this, but I wanna share a link with you guys because this thing is bad iTunes running a deal right now that you can get three months for free listening to any music, any radio station, without any advertising or listening to BS or anything like that, which is awesome. I will leave the link in my description and also the comment section, but check this out. I can literally type in any song right now. I like Sam Hunt because he's both hip hop and like country kind of thing, and that's kind of what I'm into. So like, I like his song, Body Like a Back Road. And I mean, you can just jam out to like anything no matter what you're into, three months for free. Now granted, you can only do it on like mobile devices, so like phones and tablets and things like that, you can't use it on your computer, but who would want to use this on your computer? I can literally plug this into these things, rock out with my headphones while I'm working without getting copyright infringement, because YouTube hates copyright infringement. So I can be listening to this, but you guys can't hear it, which makes it okay. Now let's get to these carburetors, and then I can jam out more once, uh, once we do some more time lapses or something. Look at how clean this brass is. This is awesome stuff. I'm gonna have like brand new carburetors, you guys. Brand new carburetors. Holy cats. Look at how clean these parts are. I will show you a close up once I'm done doing this, but these parts look fantastic. Now if you don't recall what the parts look like before, go ahead and check out my previous videos because you are going to want to see the comparison to what they look like then and what they look like now. Because these parts look amazing. It looks so tight. My ultrasonic cleaner just revived the froggy freshness out of these carburetors. I'm not going to put the carburetor together just yet because I haven't received the kit that I purchased. And uh, the kit provides me with things that I might want to replace. But everything is done. Literally, all I have to do is put it together and that takes two minutes. Uh, carburetors are clean at this point. However, something is not clean and it is broken. And that is my grinder, thanks to Jake the Toilet Snake. Remember when Jake and I were working on his Danger Ranger? Jake decided to break my grinder. Well, I guess he didn't decide to, but it broke after uh, all the use that it's ever had. And I think it's because like rust and crust got into this thing. So I would kind of like to tear it apart because I think I might be able to fix it. I love fixing my own stuff. Of course I got an ultrasonic cleaner, so I threw these parts in there too, even though they're plastic and not metal or anything like that. But uh, it did clean them up relatively well. Um, there was a lot of dirt and grime on them, so for 10 minutes I think that looks swell. Now when I got done, I cleaned that thing, as you can see. And I found two little pieces. Now tell me if you know what these two pieces go to. Extremely small pieces of brass. Like here's my finger, and those two pieces are right there. And all I had in there was the grinder and then the two carburetors. So if you have any idea, leave it in the comment section below. I would appreciate that. They do have a hole all the way through them. Now that I did a lot of cleaning, I want to update you guys on the Duramax because as you know, on my last upload, I kind of had some issues with it after leaving the Street Speed 717 get together or event, whatever you want to call it. I should have bought a Cummins. But I was giving it a little bit of juice, not gas, diesel. And the truck just wouldn't go over 2,000 RPMs or go over 70 miles an hour. So I ended up losing the guys. We were heading to dinner. Luckily, I just got Mike's number, so I texted him and asked for the address. But Michael, Greg's buddy, suggested that it was, it's going to be difficult to see, but it's under the square box. It's the fuel rail cap, I guess. A lot of people were saying I should have bought a Cummins. <laughs> you really only have three options. You got the Cummins, you got the Duramax, you got the Power Stroke. They all are good engines. It's just how you treat them. So I did order that part, so that should be in soon. And I'm looking forward to resolving this issue. I'm getting sick and tired of it. I want, when I want power, I want power. When I want speed, I want speed. 
And when I want dents, well, I, I never want dents. Well, I'm gonna wrap this 3D Machines production up. We had a lot of progression today, and we had fun doing that progression, which is amazing. I mean, we cleaned some carburetors. We got that third carburetor in, which is really, really sweet. Cleaned up my grinder that Jake broke. The Duramax is one day closer in shipping time to getting its new parts and acting well. And we're going to be able to rock out for free thanks to iTunes. So that's it, you guys. I'm gonna wrap up this 3D Machines production. Like I said, if you're into that uh, music thing, I mean, I rock out all the time off camera. Just not a lot on camera because like I said the copyright stuff Let me know if you downloaded it by commenting in the comment section below and by doing that I appreciate your engagement. I'll shout out five people tomorrow. How's that? If you have any comments questions or concerns also leave them in the comment section below until tomorrow stay super froggy fresh stay super fly until tomorrow 3d machines out see ya